Kilmainham Jail, Easter 1991. Roadies in ponytails, stringing lights and cables. A beer can popped in the corner, echo of sound check. Outside, in the filling yard, hum of expectation. We bore through the narrow gate under the gallows hook in twos and threes, becoming an audience. Before the lights go down, we examine each other shyly. The singer surveys his audience, heat rising to the tricolour and plough overhead as the first words of Galvin's lament climb to invoke James Connolly's ghost. We are joined by the dead. I say this as calmly as I can. The gaunt dead crowded the catwalks, shirt-sleeved, disbelieving. The guards had long since vanished, but these looked down on us, their faces pale. I saw men there who had never made their peace, men who had failed these many years to accept their fate, still stunned by gunfire, wounds, fear for their families, paralyzed until now by the long volleys of May so long ago. I think that we all felt it, their doubt and their new fear, the emblems so familiar, the setting, our upturned faces so unreal. Only the dignity of the singer's art had power to release them. I saw them leave in twos and threes as the song ended. I do not know that there is a heaven, but I saw their souls fan upward like leaves from a dry book, sped out into the night by volleys of applause, sped out, I hope, into some light at last. I do not know that I will ever be the same again. That soft-footed gathering of the dead into their peace was like something out of a book. In Kilmainham jail, I saw this, I felt this. I say this as calmly and lovingly as I can. <laughs>